times and I can't seem to find a light. In the previous episode I finished the bottom cabinet and fixed the bench top in its final position. I'm Robert and in this episode I invite you to follow along while I finish the final details of the workbench and start working on the soundproofing of the room. After fixing all components, the final step before I could consider the workbench complete was to add some wooden corner strips. These would cover any imperfections and close the distance between the work surface and the side walls. The rear wall will be covered later on with some sound absorbing foam, so I didn't add any edge strips there. I cut the strips to length and to fix them in place I used some construction adhesive. Leaving them overnight in order for the adhesive to cure was a must, so I used some weights to hold them in place. I glued similar strips to the shelves as well and after the glue has dried it was time to paint every wooden panel with a transparent water-based glaze paint. While I was painting the boards I realized that painting these before mounting them would have been a lot easier. After several minutes it was done and as it took some time I only applied one layer. I like how the workbench turned out and before moving on with this episode let's have a moment to appreciate the amount of work that went into it. In order to improve the acoustics of the room I bought some sound absorbing foam. The foam came in square pieces of 96 by 96 cm with a 6.5 cm thickness. As the seller also had some spray adhesive. All I had to do after test fitting the pieces was to spray the back of each piece and stick them to the wall. Some adjustments were needed here and there, but this was a very quick and easy step. With all pieces glued in place, I would like to conclude this episode by thanking you guys for watching this and in the next one I will add some additional lighting to the bottom side of each shelf. Till next time, take care.